Hey guys, it's Chris and welcome to Something Else Weird. This little tiny computer behind me is a HP slash compact ML350 with an Intel Xeon processor. What the heck does that have to do with Amiga? It does, in a way. This, on top of here, barely in the camera frame, is a compact 20 slash 40 gigabyte. Yes, this thing has about as much space as one of these compact flashcards and DLT tapes. DLT tapes are big plastic 4x4 squares that you feed into this thing and it does some science, shoots it down through SCSI too. This server is from 2002 or 2003. State of the art Intel Xeon for the time and it don't work. I don't know why, it just doesn't work. The reason that I'm going to do this Windows thing is I have a bunch of Amiga stuff on DLT that I archived from my BBS that I want to get back. Why don't you use your gateway? Why not use this? I have it. I don't know if I have enough room. I'll have to hold it. Yep. I'll do this. That's safe. Crap, all the drives are gone. <laughs> which used to be a RAID and is really clean in here. You could just eat right off of that if you like that. Oh my goodness, I don't want to breathe this. Ultra 320 SCSIs, they're the LVD brand. And I have managed to eBay myself, oh God, some of them. Do they work? <laughs> I don't know. So crack into a beer, because we're going to jump into this POS, and I took this a long time ago when we were cleaning out a server room of one of my former jobs, like 90s jobs. Anyway, it's PS2. This was on a, like a KVM, and I said, hey, what are you guys going to do with that? Throw it out. So I took it. It even has USB 1.1 on the top. Okay, it's got some instructions. That's good. A card could be an early ILO. Heat shrink tape on a piece of copper. Right on the motherboard. It's missing a whole processor. And it's got one up there. It has four sticks of something memory. It has a couple headers for LVD SCSI where this plane is plugged into the motherboard. And I'm just going to put the lid back on and push the power button and see what explodes. If this is a remote lights out card or RILO, ILO, integrated lights out, I guess it's remote so it's R because it's a PCI. That could be used to power and boot the machine if it was not powered. Yeah, this would have power and you could control the BIOS. Modern Dells have them, modern HPs have them. I think they got them from Compaq. I always loved Compaq desktops because you got extra screws. The metrics and the imperialistic ones. 630 seconds and M3. I used to scavenge all those screws, and that's how I have about a thousand of them. We're just going to hit it. Like this. <laughs> kind of scared me for a second. I got a beat. I got a... I got lights. I got a loud fan. Really loud. It's moving some air. I'm in VGA, but we have nothing. Something's wrong. Okay, we have no nothing. I'm gonna plug that. Can you, can you, can you turn off? No. You'll turn off that way. This drive works, the belt didn't turn into bubble gum. Well, it makes a bunch of noise. Now, I didn't know how many hard drives this thing had. So, I just bought 10. 10. Yeah, and they look cleaner. These are 72.8, which is what this are. This are, yeah, that's 146, so that's wrong. 146, 72.8, got another one. I think I'm about five of each. Whew, six drives. Why are you out of breath? <sighs> I'm fat. All right, I'm just gonna put the same size in. Don't worry about the, how does, can you, do you, how do you get, what the, there we go, this is dirty. So I got two size drives, I got 146 gig drives, because that's a number they had, six of these. So I have enough to do the server in this, 
And this is a 72. So I have four, three. I thought I bought five. Well, I guess not. I bought six 146 gig drives and I got these 72s with spider webs all over them. I could read the, the cover and see what the hell it says to do. But what's the fun in that? We got us something. The date is 1982 to 2004. Escape to exit. We got one processor at 3.2 gigahertz. This system contains a backup ROM and a dead battery, I guarantee it. Tape-based disaster or multi-initiator configuration. Enter choice exit. X. I don't know what that's doing. What's the BIOS on this thing? I'm gonna read that cover here and see what the hell it says. It's like a Ten Commandment here. So the connector has to be on the computer, not the thing. Where we had a beep beep, now I have no display. So I'm gonna do the right thing and take it out. It looks like they're quick connects where you push that and fold that and just pull this. How is it? It's got a lock on it here. That's great. So I have to pull this to pull what the all right to pull this out. Power PC. What? Power PC AMCC Power PC 405 Xilinx Spartan 3. Like it's on the mini MIG. So this is definitely an ILO card. Magic Jack, is that the telephone thing where you got internet telephones? Alright, so it's got a Rage XL, it's got a Power PC, a Xilinx Spartan, FPGA, and Intel chips. This is a either an SBC or an ILO card. Considering it has no hard drive direct hookups, but it's got these cables that plug into things here. A ribbon cable is plugged into here, but there's other things that this apparently plugs into. This is probably a wake on land feature or something. I'm getting really dirty. I'm gonna put this down, because here it is. I told you it was from 2003 era. So we're gonna let it boot in the meantime. I'm probably gonna have to reinstall this. I don't know if it's the 64-bit or the 32-bit install. It's got eight gigs of RAM, so it's either using physical address extension to get past the four gig old limit of 32-bit PAE, whatever, 8 gig, I forget these things. So the bottom drive here is the only one that's got the arrow on it doing something. These are doing something, but this is reading drive C. And that's the drive that was left in this server. Good, because I didn't feel like figuring that out. Windows 2003 Enterprise Edition. So apparently the password is nothing. We have ESET antivirus 5.0. Then we're going to put Doom on this thing. I'm just kidding. So these discs that I bought are already, well, something says missing. We got some missing ones out of this config. So if these are hot swappable, why don't I put the big ones in there? So I'm going to take a drive out. I'm letting it spin down. I'm not rough. The whole machine's dirty, so I don't want to clean these and put them into a dirty computer and make everything jealous. Now, I know these are a joke in space in 2023. These drives either last forever or they don't last at all. Missed it. It's all metal and last one, we're going with six drives. Well, five plus the whatever. So this is going to be a Windows 2003 type raid, okay? We're going to get a whopping five... 160 gigabytes of space. That is ridiculous in 2023. Again, it's not about what it is in comparison to today's standards. This is back then. Oh, making all sorts of noise down here now. Not the fan, but you can see these drives are doing their parody striping already. And you get a nice fluorescent blue formatting of the 2003. I want to make myself an account. There's my stuff. And it was Veritas Backup Execs, the name of the software. It's probably in a changer. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see if it says cleaning tape. Probably just put dirt all through that thing. Yeah, I'd have a tape drive here if it detected the tape drive at all, which it does not. Lost. This means there's a tape error. You can hear by this awful noise. I'm running a cleaning tape that I made in 2004 through it. It's running. I mean, it is 
it is doing it. It's not out of alignment. It's everything's cool. It just sounds sounds like crap is scraping and it should detect the tape type that you have. DLT 2, 3, 4, 15 gig, 10 gig, 40 gig, 20 gig compression, your mom. When this is normal mode, it will bring these on, these will go on sequential. This will turn green and then beep and say lift handle, it's ready for insertion. I found an NOS one of these on eBooger, so I bought it, and I'm just waiting for it to get here. Two hours later. And just like that, my eBay parts are in. There's not a fingerprint, a flake of dust, and this is a revision B01. And this one, yeah, the streamer is in there, everything. Ta-da! Yes, number six, DLT 4000. And fire up this damn backup software to index this tape, which I'll pre-get rolling now. Let it do its thing. These are not super noisy when they work properly. That's about it. It'll go zip, zip, zip. It is 8 p.m. on Thursday. Okay, the tape is ready. This was supposed to be a fast video. I'm gonna edit the living crap. I forgot how much fun this was. So I got a couple more tapes out. <laughs> now tapes last about 20 years. 2003-ish technology. 2023 current date. They're probably disintegrating. They've been stored in a cool dry place their whole life. I'll do a catalog event on it and let a rip tater chip. Sorry, I sneezed about 800 times. Dusty. Anyway, the whole idea of this whole PC server project was to hook up this DLT tape drive to get these tapes inventoried somehow, some way, shape, or form. And uh, they're at their end of life, 20 plus years old. They've been stored in a cool, dry place their entire life. No humidity, no heat. Darkness imprisoning me, all that I see, absolute horror. However, this is such a long, drawn out, boring PC project. Nobody cares about that crap. Hi, it's been a while since we checked in here. I found the tape to see if I have my BBS backup on it. And this is crazy. This is the most stupid idea ever to have an ancient Windows 2003 server run on a DLT tape drive from Compaq to restore something that I backed up 22 years ago that I probably already have on my server anyway. There we go. Amiga Backups, December 2001. Allocated 3-6-2001-5-0, 5-p.m. Oh, I gotta catalog it. Dagnabbit. So it is currently 6 o'clock and uh, we got the stuff back. Let's check it together. I restored it to my drive here. Uh, it was all rando dates, uh, June 2001, 3-6-2001. Seen it. There it is, 2001 on my 92 backup. I got it. Back. It's my BBS from back in the day. I needed some menus I had that I couldn't find anywhere. That I must have deleted long ago. My BBS is still running if you don't know. It's now on Telnet, ADI, BBS.Sites.Net, S-Y-T-E-S.Net, port 68,000. Um, so that's kind of cool. It's still online and available by Telnet, but I was missing some menus that I was looking for. I remade those menus long ago, but the ones that I have on here are the ones I needed. And they were on an ancient tape with DLT of a Windows backup from 2001 that I restored from an old 2003 server on a DLT tape drive from Compaq that's not even made anymore because Hewlett Packard bought them out and this whole entire project is a big bag of crazy a tremendous long slow process to restore something so if you're crazy like me and you want to do something stupid feel free to break out your old technology and waste a couple days weeks and even some money getting spare parts for drives that no longer work that's all I got for now. Thanks for coming along. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.
from funny, you bastard.